103.1. All about the Fourth Valley. Central FM. The, the Fourth Valley and Disability Sport Awards, and Jane, tonight. We're here to celebrate the achievements of our athletes, coaches and volunteers and we present 10 awards as well as salt tire awards for our young volunteers and they get the chance to come out up on stage and get the recognition they deserve. I mean, it's incredibly important to actually recognise the efforts of some of the athletes that, that are here this evening. Uh, we've had Olympic contenders, we've had Olympic athletes uh, in the past and some of the people who are here tonight will clearly go into even greater things. But it's acknowledgement also of the effort that goes into sports development in our area. There's a huge number of volunteers that lie behind the scenes that you, you very seldom see. Uh, so tonight really is a celebration of all those things. So it's the volunteers, the partner groups that we work with, and clearly for the, uh, the athletes themselves. We here, we have over 100 people here tonight, but uh, we have, we work with about 850 people last year uh, across Fourth Valley. From primary school up to 60s, 70 year olds. Tonight we're also launching a new project called Get Out Get Active, which is all about getting more females involved. Through research done at Stirling University, we've realised that there's a three to one uh, ratio, one female to every three uh, males that are participating. So what we're trying to do is trying to make balance this. Uh, we won't, probably won't get it exactly we're trying to improve that imbalance that we've seen. Yeah, our new GOGA project means Get Out, Get Active and it's a three year project and it aims to increase participation of females, eh, both girls and women across Oak Valley, trying to get them involved in disability sport and our three sports are going to be walking, swimming and cycling. And then tonight I announced that uh, we're going to start on another two year journey which is to try and do something about unemployment for, uh, with our young uh, uh, people in particular. I'm all over the, the youth worker for Fort Valley Expressive Sports. I'm probably to um, Dagnan University. I'm just going to work at the same time. Uh, it's really challenging working here. I uh, really enjoy working with young people and I got to put it The young lad that you just interviewed, uh, Mitch, he's a, a really good example. Uh, I managed to get a grant to allow me to employ Mitch for five years and to pay to take him through college and university. It helps them in many ways. First of all, it gets them out of their house. Uh, a lot of young people with disabilities end up in a digital world. They sit with their computers, they communicate on Facebook and all that stuff. But we want them to come out and mix, and this is what we offer and what they seem to thrive on. Sport's a tremendous thing to change people's lives. That's one of our banners up, up the front, sports changes lives. And it does. It did it for me, so I, I'm sure it'll do it for them. 103.1 All about the Fourth Valley. Central FM.